especially these are the people that don't know boxing. They said, oh, Canelo didn't fight the way he used to, because he didn't let him. I mean, they don't style. Take that into account. They, don't. they don't take that into account. Mayweather is the finest fighter there is in boxing. You know, it is. I mean, Mayweather is just, it's just something else, man, in boxing. It's just he has a gift that not a lot of people have. And when, when, when he fought Guerrero, I mean, how impressive it is to fight a southpaw and connect three straight right hands down the middle, back to back. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I, I was a fighter myself. I was a fighter and now I'm a trainer. And I train fighters, lefties, righties, you know. And, and Floyd is right there in front of you and he catches you. Woo! One. Straight down the middle. Okay, down the middle. With a straight right hand against the southpaw. And then here comes the next one. Boom! And then here comes the third one. Come on. Hey, you gotta move a little bit. I mean, somebody has to tell you, hey, shift the shoulder or stand over or something. I mean, but let me tell you about, uh, I fight with Tim Bradley and, and, and Mayweather. I mean, it will be, will be great. I mean, it will be great. I mean, to put a plan, to put up a plan to be Mayweather will be, will be, I mean, stressful. Stressful. I mean, you will lose sleep over that. <laughs> a lot of people comparing it to like a Hagler, uh, Leonard, what you think? A lot of people say, oh, we got the blueprint. There's no blueprint. <laughs> if there was a blueprint, he would be, he would be, he would be beat already. There's no such thing as a blueprint to be I say, it's like you said, it's one of the, the testament Floyd's biggest asset. His ability to take away his opponent's biggest weapon. It's one of his biggest assets. Mayweather, Mayweather's, Mayweather's uh, best defense is his feet. I mean, I mean, by the time you try to do something, he's already here, and you throw totally out of range. And the more you throw, and the more you miss. What happens? The tighter you get, the more windy you get. Tighten up. You can't. I mean, you get windy. That's what happens when you throw a lot of punches and, and you and you don't hit what's there. You get tied up. That's what happens. Canelo is a great fighter, but remember, you need a good a good dance partner to dance a good song. And Mayweather don't let you dance. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 my theory. And you think so? You know, of course, they made the excuse that Canelo just wasn't ready. Do you think he would have been ready in t two years from now? Let me tell you something. He was he was ready 100 percent. No more than 100 percent. There's no such thing as 110, 100. He was 100 percent maxed out, ready for that. Why? Because he had the whole Mexican country behind him to be the first Mexican to beat Floyd Mayweather. There's no such thing as he wasn't ready. There's no such thing. Because everybody wants to be the first one to beat Mayweather. I'm telling you. There's no such thing as, oh, I wasn't ready, something went wrong. No, nothing went wrong. It's just that Mayweather didn't let him do what he wanted to do. Whatever he wanted to do with Mayweather,